Are you tired of spending countless hours automating tests? Or maybe you have a team of awesome testers that are not coding experts, but you need to get them up to speed with automation fast. What if I told you there's a way to create complex test scripts without writing a single line of code if you don't want to? Today, I wanna to introduce you to a new tool called Alchemy that generates and compiles tests into standard Java code using Selenium libraries. Therefore, there's no dependencies on the vendor to execute or maintain the tests. Hey there, fellow testers and developers. We all know the struggles of implementing test automation. Trying to get all our team members contributing to the automation effort can be a losing battle. Never mind the endless debugging, the maintenance nightmares, and the constant challenges to keep up with our changing applications. And that's why I wanna share a new tool I just learned about that could eliminate some of these headaches. What is it? Enter Alchemy. Alchemy is a test automation platform I was asked to review that can make your automation life a whole lot easier. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to demonstrate how Alchemy allows you to create robust, scalable test scripts using nothing more than drag and drop actions. No coding required, but it does have the power and flexibility to get into the code if you need to. And if you want to follow along, it's really easy to get started. All you need to do is head on over to the link down below. On the landing page, click the download button. Sign up with your name and email. No credit card or anything else needed. No demo. No sales call. Nothing. Once you sign up, you'll get a confirmation email with a code. Enter that code into the alchemy that you just downloaded. And then fire it up and follow my lead. All right. Let's take it for a spin together. And as I mentioned with alchemy, creating automated tests is as simple as dragging and dropping, no coding required, just click and build, and the Alchemy interface makes test creation really intuitive, even for non-developers. All right, so let's try it out. So we're gonna add a new test case to our bike shop test suite. Once the shell of the script is created, we could start creating our test steps. As you can see here, the steps are being added to the test shell that we created, mimicking my actions on the web page. And as you can see, you don't have to write a single line of code. Beginners or experts can master test automation with the Alchemy interface. As you can see, it's really easy to use. Let's go ahead and remove the hard-coded first name and last name values and instead use data. For quick script creation, Alchemy has many built-in synthetic data providers, which is awesome because you know test data is always critical when you're creating your automated test. For instance, we can use the first name and last name provider. Doing so will allow Alchemy to generate a randomized first name and last name to use in our tests. You don't need to maintain a separate set of data as it's all generated randomly. All right, with our simple test created, we can now execute it inside of Alchemy to verify that it's working correctly. And now that we know our test is running as expected and the synthetic data is inserting properly, we can continue working on our test case either manually or by clicking the record button again. This will allow us to add additional test steps to the end of this test. A powerful feature of Alchemy is the ability to incrementally execute a test. We don't need to run our entire test over and over again when we continue to add to it. We can simply execute the final few steps that we added. This dramatically reduces the time taken to debug a test script, especially if it's a long one. So now that we've created the script, I want to validate that the data fields are being populated as expected. When we executed the test to completion, we missed these entries. So this is a great place to add a breakpoint. We see that the test is paused at this step, allowing us to step through and validate the values and that they're being entered properly. While this works, a manual check is not always feasible. So we're gonna remove our breakpoint and we're gonna add a screenshot instead. Now, when we execute, we can see that the screenshot was extracted after the step was completed and we can view it. Now let's go back to our test case. As you can see, Alchemy has produced a test script that pretty much anyone can read and understand. Each step is clearly laid out using simple language. Now everyone from developers to any stakeholder you have on your team can follow what is happening in your tests. All right, cool. So now we wanna execute these test cases across our company's set of supported browsers. To do so, we need to define the execution package. Your execution package can contain a mix of browsers and devices from various providers 
There's also an Alchemy Gridworks option, which is a real cost-effective consumption-based cloud execution platform, or even your own home-built Selenium grid. All tests will be executed across all your defined browsers and devices in parallel across all your providers. Here we're gonna use Alchemy Gridworks for our bike shop test suite. We defined four instances of Chrome, four instances of Firefox, and four instances of Edge, allowing for 12 simultaneous browser instances. Now that we define our execution package, we're ready to generate our code. Click the Build Executable button, save your tests, and now we can see our code is being generated. The Selenium template that we're using generates a basic Maven-based project. As you can see, all the infrastructure code has been added along with our individual test cases. Now, let's download our test suite and give this a run. Here, we can see the status of our test execution as it goes. Now, let's take a look at the individual grid nodes. You can see our tests executing across all 12 nodes in our grid. If needed, you could always view the details of an individual node for a more detailed view of what it's doing. Now that the test is completed, we can view the results of this test suite. I included an HTML integration that generates an HTML report. As you see here, the report contains all the details about the test and the steps. For our test, we can see our screenshots here as well. Now, let's move into some more advanced topics. We'll start with reusability, which Alchemy supports the concepts of something they call reusable functions. In this example, let's say the first two actions are used in many of our tests. We can highlight these two steps and click the convert to a function button. After naming the function, those steps will be refactored into a function and replaced in this test with a call statement. When we execute again, you could see the function being executed here. Now, let's take this even a bit further. Remember before, when we added synthetic data? Let's enter a bunch of different values in here. To do so, select the steps necessary to enter your first name and last name as we did before. Then click Repeat These Steps. When we click the Repeat These Steps, it's going to ask you for a function name. It's going to ask you how this function should loop. You can loop it in a bunch of different ways, either by a fixed count, over a set of previously provided data, over a set of page elements of multiple elements were found, or by supplying a standard list. In this case, we're going to select fixed account. Now, with fixed account selected, we need to tell it how many times we want it to loop. In this case, just for example, we're going to say 50. But now we want to go into the function that we created because as we saw before, the executions are going to happen very rapidly. We may or may not see what's happening as it goes through. So we're going to go into our function. We're going to come into this last step. And we're going to have a little bit of a pause right after it executes. Save all that. And now let's go back to our test and execute again. Now the test is going through, looping through all the individual pieces of that generated data and entering values here. Let's just go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to sit around and watch it run. And there you have it. It did its execution over 50 individual pieces of data. Now, while this was kind of a silly example, it really demonstrates the power behind data repeating, which is a pretty powerful feature when used correctly. And as we saw before, Alchemy generated our source code for us, and Alchemy generates industry standard Java and Selenium code, ensuring that your tests are portable, scalable, and future-proof. And this is cool because your investment in test automation then stays flexible and adaptable to any framework without being locked into any proprietary tools or licenses. This is huge, not vendor-locked. And from speaking with Alchemy team, they told me that future proofing was more than just words. As you know, many low code and no code tools out there today trap you in a box. But Alchemy is the best of both worlds. While it has a low code feature, Alchemy also allows 
for more technical savvy users to extend the functionality of Alchemy. One way to do this is via custom actions. Let's take a look. Take the random number action, for instance. We have defined some simple characteristics, the random number action, and that's it. It simply represents an abstract view of what this action is trying to accomplish. Each action has one or more versions that's associated with it, and each version contains the implementation of that action in this specific language. Let's look at version two, for instance. Here we can see the standard Java source code needed to accomplish the random number action. Any user can create a new version of this action and use it in their test script. Let's say, for instance, that you wanted to have this action print out the value that it found. So let's go ahead back to the version list where we're going to add an action version. And we're going to add an action version that's for Java and Selenium. And now we have a new version created. Let's go ahead and paste that code that we had there before, just so you don't have to watch me type it out again. And in this case, we're going to print out the value of a random number in two different places that we see it there. All right, now that we have the code there, we're just going to do a compile on it. And that's just going to verify that the templating was good and that the underlying compiler was successful and everything was good to go. So now that we have that, we saved it off. We can go back into our test case, go to the actions panel and drag in the random number. Once that's in there, we're going to go to the selection and alternate version, and we're going to pick our version three. And let's go ahead and execute our test. And once the test is compiled, we can go back into the Alchemy console, go to the console output tab, and see that we generated our value, which in this case was just zero. All right, so there you have it. I just scratched the surface of what Alchemy can do. I just wanted to give you a flavor, a feel for how it can help you. As you notice, it has a very intuitive drag and drop interface and it has powerful features like synthetic data generation and custom actions. Also, Alchemy is designed to make test automation accessible to everyone while, which is really important, providing the flexibility that experienced testers also demand. And remember, this tool has no license fees, generates portable Selenium code, has AI-based object recognition and unlimited executions. So after trying this out for myself, I think whether you're a seasoned pro or just getting started, I think this tool has something to offer you as well. So give it a try for yourself using the link down below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more testing tips and tricks, and let us know in the comments how Alchemy can help streamline your testing process. Until next time, as always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.